Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night and that you'll enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. If you're struggling to figure out what to get your man for Christmas this year because men are literally the hardest to shop for. What do you mean? If you have a man, then he already has the greatest gift of all. You don't have to get that man. Yeah, of course you don't buying your man a gift. Who does that? So it looks like that man gave you the greatest gift ever. Turned you into a single mother and he left. Now, I could be wrong, but that didn't make you the greatest gift. That pretty much made you the gift that you will return the next day. If you see me out in public looking like a hot mess, just know my bills are paid, my kids are fed, and I ain't trying to impress you. And I wasn't impressed. Mother of five, that stopped impressing me a long time ago. Do you know how I know my boyfriend's a good one? A keeper. A good egg, if you will. He doesn't exist. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh. <sighs> yeah, well, I knew from the beginning he's not real. But I just love it when your laughter ended at the end of the video. When you did realize that, whoops, why did I make this video? There's currently this collective energy shift in divine feminines and divine masculines where the divine feminine is stepping into her power and is no longer accepting the bare minimum. Not only not accepting the bare minimum, she's finding her power and divine feminine and divine masculine has no gender a man can be divine ma feminine a woman can be divine masculine like it really it's about the energy it's about the soul and the energy shift insane i feel like divine feminines have been put down and have been chasing for so long that this energy shift especially after that retrograde that we had um this summer it's just been like a huge shift like divine feminines are no longer taking and they're no longer in that uh, chasing mentality. They're in that attraction. They're becoming a magnet. And it's beautiful to see. Well, unlike you, I'm not going to blame some retrograde for people not chasing me. I know I'm not a divine whatever. I'm just a man. And I think I'm just going to keep myself of just being a man. I'm going to leave all this divine that, divine this, divine whatever to all of you lunatics on TikTok. All this divine feminine doing all the chasing, that's pretty new even to me. But if you say that's what was happening before, women doing the chasing and men attracting, I'm not going to take your word for it. But again, I'm just a man. I'm divine nothing. So I could be wrong. I'm more worried about feminizing men to be honest but if they're divine feminine then I guess I want to say it's fine but it's really not. If you want to save yourself some tears don't date any man under the age of 25. I completely agree um, and also no man over the age of 25. And somehow I agree with both of you. Neither of you should be dating. Just let normal in the head people date each other. So making a joke about not dating men to avoid being hurt is equivalent to spreading misogyny and abusing women. You got me. Well, yeah, he or she did. Unlike you hating an entire gender, he was not spreading anything. He was in fact talking about women should be protected and provided for. But I get it. You haven't watched a single video he was posting. You just swallow everything your sisterhood is feeding you. Spoiled. Selfish. Self-centered. This woman believes the sun should rise and set according to her needs. Alright, so how society sees you when you have standards in dating. At first I wanted to say not society, just the men you're trying to date. But I would be wrong, it's not gonna be just those men. It's gonna be pretty much everyone. And it's not because you have standards. It's because those standards would be 6 figures, 6 packs, 6 inches. No wait, not 6 inches, I meant 10 inches and 6 feet tall. And that's all good. You keep those standards and the society will keep on laughing. I had this guy add me on Snapchat, and he's been buying me, like, a lot of stuff. But, like, an enormous amount of stuff. And I'm, it's a lot of money. And I, he sent me receipts. He's bought me stuff off my Amazon wishlist. And I'm just like, 
cool, but he's really not asking for that much. He's not asking to meet up. He's not asking to do anything. Like, I don't even do that even if he wanted to, you know? But usually if someone's spending this much money on me, that's what they expect, which, again, I don't do. And I was like, hey, like, do you want me to know more about you? Like, can I see a picture of you? He said, honey, if I was hot, do you think I would be spending all this money on you? <laughs> do you think I would be buying you everything you asked and messaging you on Snapchat? Fair, I guess. Jesus. Well, aren't you the nicest thing? You don't do that kind of stuff? Well, of course. If you said it twice in a video, I'm gonna take your word for it. Or would I? You don't do that kind of stuff? Of course you do. For $15 a month, you're gonna do whatever is asked of you. But hey, if you posing as an innocent girl is gonna get you more fans, then more power to you. I can't even blame you for that. I'm not even gonna blame the ones paying $15 a month. If that's what they want to do with their money, no matter how much I think it's stupid, in the end it's their money. Alright, let's see now. When she's a 10 but her kids are wild AF, her patience is thin, she has a mom bud and a coffee addiction, and you'll spend the rest of your life helping her find her glasses, phone and keys. Well, she's obviously uh, 12 kilometers away from her. I really don't understand how none of you realize that 10 is perfect. In what world other than the one that you've built in your head, you would be considered a 10? Yeah, I know, in La La Land, but the problem with La La Land is that no one else is there except for you. It if you want to date yourself, that's great. But if you want to date someone else, I would consider snapping out of it, coming back to reality, and stop thinking of yourself as being perfect. Your kids are wild AF, so not only that you're a single mother, but you also failed at educating your kids on what type of cuckoo level you would have to be to still consider yourself a 10. What is the most desperate thing you've ever done for somebody? I want you to think about it. Get that image in your... Okay, I can't believe I'm coming on TikTok to say this because I don't think that I can actually get more desperate. Like this, if there was a definition of desperate, my name would actually be in the dictionary. So basically, I was feeling a boy and I was like, what am I going to do for him? I need to make him like me back. This was me being stupid. So I was like, cool, let me take him shopping. Bearing in mind, we've been speaking for two weeks, like literally two weeks. This man had never done in my life he probably won't even buy me a happy meal anyway i'm actually scared to say it like i don't even want to say it out loud because i'm actually so ashamed of myself i don't know what possessed me to think i was a rich gal but anyway i'm like yeah whatever you want buy we went shepherd's bush westfield every shop we go and yeah you want that buy it louis vuitton buy it buy it buy it buy it buy it buy it i spent two thousand pound <laughs> on a boy and blocked me three days later Speak. And that right there is the happy life of an F-boy. No matter what they do, obviously they can do no wrong. And then this will be the type of girls that will date a normal guy, not an F-boy, and she's gonna develop standards. She's gonna have boundaries and all that when she's dating you, and in the meantime, she's gonna keep thinking of the one that got away. Obviously, that will be the F-boy she was talking about earlier. I just find it more laughable because I know every time they yell out standards and boundaries, there's gonna be a story just like this one that they're not telling you. So if you are considering dating and even worse considering one of these girls just make sure you look at the signs and make sure you vet them better you know those stay-at-home girlfriend videos where it's like here's what i did for my boyfriend in a day i need them to stop because not because i'm jealous not because i have a problem with that it looks so hard the amount of cleaning you guys are doing oh i could never do that job like congrats but i need you to stop because everything i did for my boyfriend in a day like I just made myself dinner and not him. I've left all the dishes in the sink that he will probably clean up. I've not walked our dog. She hates me. He'll have to take her. Like, I trashed our room. I've done nothing to contribute to his life or make his life better. Please stop what you're doing. I don't need him to know that there are women like you out there, okay? Thanks. How are you not married yet is beyond me. You're obviously a catch and he should not let you go. Obviously that's a lie and obviously I can't even understand why your dog is still with you. I guess lucky you it's not one of those more aggressive breeds. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. It's time to end this video here. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.